Greetings humans. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the tip jar from Coffee Shop RPG to your game and start letting players show you how much they love being part of the group effort to build amazing games on the core platform and support you as a creator and show their appreciation. So we're going to start. I'm in a uh, unfinished project that was designed to be a community farm. That was like a very, very simple version of farm game. Um, and we're going to search for the tip jar in community content and you will find coffee shop tip jar by Disastronaut. Um, and you press import to add it to your game. Okay. So in the tip jar, there are five templates. One of them is this readme. You can see it is extremely thorough step-by-step, step, probably more thorough than even this video uh, will be, but it's also just another way for you to reference everything that you need to do to get this started. Um, and the real most important thing that you're going to use is this thing called tip jar trigger and UI. So I'm going to add this into the game and it's right here at zero zero. And this actually works for me right now. Um, but, um, so this is just the trigger and it's actually it being on the spawn point is a problem. So let's not do that. Let's add it, uh, back towards this wall here. So I've got just the trigger. If you can't see your trigger, press V to toggle on, uh, triggers. And um, this is actually secretly all you need um, to be able to um, uh, add the perks besides adding a perk reference to it. Um, but what we're going to do is we're also going to take the tip jar world model and stick it in there so that players can see that that's what this is. So if I, let's see here, let's turn triggers off and we can rotate this around so we can see that this is a tip jar sitting in the grass doesn't make sense. So you, in your implementation, you could use any object that you want here to sort of symbolize that it exists. So we're going to run up to the chip tip jar there. And when I show up, I get an interaction label to tip the creator. I press F. And we see this very extremely funny line, afraid of change, leave it here. And an uh, empty perk button, UI button um, that doesn't do anything. You can close it by pressing X or by clicking this X in the corner. Um, and that's all we have. So that funny message is actually randomized each day and it's really easy to change. Um, if I, there are two ways to find it. I'm looking for a script called funny messages. So I could search for funny messages like that and it would show up. I can go into my scripts and it should show up or you can select the coffee shop tip jar and then select dependencies and you'll see it here. Um, and all these will take you here to this set of messages. Um, and what we can do is we can add one more. Let's say, um, I know this is a farm game, so we'll say like farming ain't free. I don't, I don't know. This is, this seems weird. Anyway, the point of the story is customize it to your game and the idea that you want to come across, choose the tone that matches your project. Um, and you can add each new line creates a new one. So if I left that here, this would just be a blank one of you are important. There we go. Boom just adding messages in here. So, um, and these will be, these are basically a modulus on the day of the month. They'll be the same all day long and then they will change each day. And that gives your players kind of a reason to check back and look at what may have potentially changed here. So we'll select this and we'll see now it says farm and ain't free. And that's, ah, oh, look, it's my farm themed thing. And I could, you know, maybe have put a wheelbarrow here or something uh, fun to really catch the whole atmosphere of what I wanted in this community garden. Maybe say support the community, right? Um, so all that's there. And the only thing we need now that we have um, randomized the funny messages and added this thing is we need a perk reference. So to create a perk reference, you're going to go to window, uh, perks manager, and we'll create a new one. We'll call it farm game tip. And the most important thing is that this is a repeatable type. The way the tips work is that they, um, it just makes the leaderboard is going to track how many times you've purchased them. So... Um, that's only going to make sense if um, they are repeatable. You can come up with other schemes as well. There's lots of cool ways to do perks and there's no reason not to just try all of them and see what people like. In Coffee Shop, um, this is, the price is set to 100. I'm gonna try 400 this time. I think that's what 400, that is what the Kung Fu Slap emote is. So 
a kung flu slap emotes worth of value is what I think this is representing. Um, and we're going to create this perk. Now, when you create it, it is inactive. And it was automatically added to my game. So the only one that's actually active in my game is Farm Game Tips. And these are ones from other times I've attempted to record this video. Okay. So once we've added that, I'm going to select the tip jar trigger in UI. And I'll scroll down and I'll see that this perk down here is missing a net reference. And what I can do is I literally just click this bar and drag it over here. And that's if you've worked with a leaderboard, it's the same um, method. So now what I can do is um, I'm in local preview mode. So if I press play and I head on out to the tip jar, I now see that this is all lit up. I can click it. It shows me that, so the name that you chose for the perk is gonna show up. Um, it's called farm game tip. It's repeatable, which means players could get it as many times in a session as they wanted. And it's not actually gonna use my money um, when I buy it. So you'll see I have the same number of credits remaining, um, but I can test it out. So that's fun. Um, and so you can stop there. That is enough to do it, except for that we need to publish this. So the way you do perks is they need to be added to a published game and then activated. So first we're gonna publish. So we're gonna just publish this unlisted. And once that's live, then I can activate the perk. So I'll go back to window, perks manager, um, farm game tip, we can add, switch to active. Um, just says, make sure if you give people something with a perk that they continue to have it. Um, and then we'll say, create, uh, oh wait, no, I didn't want create new. Now it's active. So now on the live version of the game, I'll have to publish again. Um, and we'll check that out at the end of this after we finish the rest of it. Um, so, and I actually don't know what happens if I spend perks on my own account. Okay, so we have the tip jar. And um, now we want to, it's, it's awesome that we just have a way for players to donate, but we'd love to recognize them and let them sort of demonstrate that they have decided to be part of this elite group. And the way, the easiest way that I could think of to do that was a leaderboard. So if I go back to the um, tip jar dependencies, I have track tips on leaderboard, which is the script that actually tracks them, and then the leaderboard display. So if you wanna write your own leaderboard display, you don't need to use this one, but we're gonna add both of these to the project. I'll set this wall's visibility to force off. Oh my gosh, I can grab this template, grab the arrow and put the names on the fence like that, like somebody painted them on or something like that. And that's kind of charming and it fits into my game a little bit better that way. Okay, so we can do that. And then what these two templates need is they need um, to track the tips on the leaderboard. It needs to know what leaderboard and what perks. So now we need to create a leaderboard. We'll go to window global leaderboards, create a new leaderboard. I'm going to keep all these settings exactly the same because higher is better and I only have 10 slots. So this is going to be called top tippers and we'll create that. Um, and then what we're going to do is just like we did with the perks, we're going to drag this into the custom property called leaderboard. Then um, I'm going to open, I can open perks from here and grab the reference too. So I'll drag that there. And then this leaderboard display also needed the leaderboard. So let's grab global leaderboards again and add the, uh, sorry, not that one. Then leaderboard display template, the one only needs to know the leaderboard. And if you wanted just this display um, for a leaderboard without grabbing the rest of this, it's also available on community content. Okay. So now we have a leaderboard tracking the top tippers, a script, um, a leaderboard showing the top tippers, a script that's tracking that based on a perk changed event, and then the normal UI system that we've already tested to um, actually allow players to um, buy the tips perk. Okay. So we'll preview again. We're going to test this out. You can see that there are no top tippers right now. I press F to interact. It's still the same message. It's going to be all day unless I manually change the day. Um, and I'm going to select this. It costs me nothing. And when I close this, I'll see that I'm here. I'm number one. I'm disaster not. And that is pretty much the entire system.